Dell Tech Azure has a process to support mobile timesheet entry or running timesheets on your phone or tablet. The process is a bit different than most people are expecting. So let's look at some details and then we will log in to an example. So Azure mobile timesheets are based on mobile responsive websites. So you log into a special website you don't run a separate app from your phone to do the timesheets. So if your firm uses locally installed Azure, that you add a slash M at the end of the login URL. If your firm is on Dell Tech Cloud, add a slash M at the end of azure.com um, URL. For some resources, Azure has a mobile timesheet tour video you can follow here. There's a couple of support pages that talk about how to use Azure to use the timesheet system. And then I have a couple of links here on how to create a bookmark or a shortcut to the Azure mobile websites on the face of your phone. So if you make the shortcut, it's an icon on the home screen of your phone. So you touch the icon, it brings up the mobile website. So it sort of makes it look like um, Azure is actually running from a mobile app. So let's go over and look at the mobile website from my computer. So this, you know, this is on my giant computer screen. So the layout's a little wonky. When you log in from your phone, it's gonna look a little bit different. So we're gonna log in to the Azure cloud system. Note the slash M on the URL. So we're going to log in with a sample into the sample database. So the login to the sample database is your usual email address you use to log in and your regular password to log in. The only difference is, is we add this sample backslash prefix to your email address. So after you enter your email address and password, you'll log into the system because I'm logging into the sample database I need to select the sample user I want to log in as. And so I'm going to be Pat Hill for the demonstration. And then I have the secondary login screen. And from here, we have our mobile timesheet. So at the top, we can scroll back and forth between weeks. So we're at September 13th. We can scroll back and we can see September 6th. And so to add a time entry, we can go to add and you have to do predictive type. And it found the project. Now it wants to know what phase we're billing into. Then it wants to know what kind of time this is. And this system is set up so we pick the employee type. Typically you shouldn't see that. From here we can say I worked 2.5 hours and I can add notes on what I did. I can click OK. And so we have our 2.5 project phase activity employee type notes, click OK. And so from here we can see for Monday the 7th, we hit Highlight Shopping Center for 6.25 hours, an hour of admin time, and then another 2.5 into Highland. We wanna see the different days, we just click through the days. And when we're done, we go back to the menu and if we want to, when we're finished with the week, we can hit submit. And it's a rudimentary, you know, mobile timesheet system. Um, one shortcut you might want to watch is if you, under this recent button, it will list your more recent projects. So if you're charging into the same project, same phase, that you can click this, it's going to be a lot quicker than drilling through and picking all the details. And with that, quick introduction to Azure Mobile Timesheets.